We went from this to this in just four years. So welcome to the third episode of Good AI and a Bad AI. Since the first deep fake in 2017, the synthetic media has advanced really fast. Before the modern AI, we had tools like face swap, which is basically cropping out your face, swap the face, and blend in the boundaries. But AI has taken the defects into the next level. It's fixed a common issue, such as the lighting issue, the perfect lip sync. So celebrities like Obama, Tom Cruise, Mark Zuckerberg have been defaked. So my question here is how easy it is to create the defake. It's quite easy to find out. So open up the GitHub and type in defake. Then you'll be able to find out how many open source defake libraries are available, or even the software that you can install and create the create defake right away. So look at this live defake cam. The quality is jaw dropping, to be honest. Now compare that what was possible about three, five years ago, there was a popular model called GAN model, which is popular back then, but the quality of the defake that could create using it and right now is a totally different league. So to fight against the stiff fake, the researchers have been focusing on how to detect the stiff fake. We can identify the detect by spotting the spatial and visual inconsistency, such as difference in noise patterns, how is the color difference. But the truth is, as the deep fake is getting more and more detailed with the high quality, it is very difficult to detect the deep fake as we used to. According to the deep media, in 2023, there was about roughly 500k of social media that was created based on the deep fake, including the video and the voice deep fakes. They expect 2025, 8 million of social media posts created by deep fake would be prevalent. So at this rate, the detection alone won't be enough to prevent this abuse of AI. To keep up with the speed and the scale of deep fake technology, we'll need a stricter safeguards, smarter regulations and global coordination before the things get worse. I'm a data scientist who's trying to deliver the balanced viewpoint of good AI and a bad AI. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in the follow-up series, please watch and follow.